everybody, man, I just want to say thanks for watching my videos. Today I'm going to be building a nice big 180 amp hour battery pack out of the Headway 38120S cells. This is the base or the battery holders that you will get for these if you order them from Headway or from anybody that's selling the Headway batteries direct. And they work out great. I'm going to use these for this demonstration. When I build my stuff, I probably won't be using these, but this is a nice way to show you guys how to do these Headway batteries. And I've got a bunch of these here. I got stacks of these from when I bought all my new batteries. And uh, that's how I kind of put these together. I was just going to do this without doing a video because so many, you know, so many people have done the 18650 builds. And this is the same thing, you know, you take a Headway battery. It's a bit bigger than an 18650, of course. And you put it in each thing, and then you uh, wire it up either in parallel or series. And in this case, these are going to be wired up in series. Uh, we're going to go a 4S system. And it's going to be a 4S 18P system, so it's going to give us 180 amps. And we are going to have all the uh, current that we're going to need for these things. This is going to go in the 3000 watt generator that I'm building. And uh, it's going to do anything I need it to do. So, you know, when I add the solar panels to this thing, I got a good day of sun. This thing will just run and run and run. At night, you know, 180 amp hours is going to keep a lot of things running in your household. Uh, you know, it's going to run your fridge and things like that. And, you know, how long it's going to run it for is going to just be determined upon how much you put into it. So, like I said, this unit here is going to be 180 amp hours. It's going to run 72 of these Headway 38120S batteries. And it's going to be a pretty good size pack. And then this is going to go in with, like I said, the 3000 watt inverter, which already weighs about 68, 70 pounds. So without further ado, um, I've introduced these batteries before. These are the little batteries here. They call them the uh, Headway 38120S. And the S is just because they have a screw in the end. And this is, you know, this is an Allen head screw. And it takes a 532nd Allen to loosen them and tighten them. And then you put them together with a bus bar. So... For this first build, uh, I've already done the first plate, and I will go ahead and build the second plate myself. I'll put that here on the video. And this is similar to the plates that you build for the 18650 batteries, as you can see. They just pop together. The nice thing I like about these is they give you a little extra room, you know, because you've got to put the uh, bus bars on. And so these little divots here keep things up and level. Now, you don't need those. You can take those off or trim them down. But your batteries will stick out the bottom a little bit so that's kind of important that when you do that see you don't want to trim them much because you'll be touching stuff but when we wrap these batteries for you know resale and things like that it's not really a big issue because you know they're all insulated anyway but like i said without further ado let's go ahead and get started on building one of these battery packs so you guys understand how i uh, i do this uh, the battery holders come in two units right here as you can see And they all just kind of snap together. So I'm just going to set this one off to the side over here out of the way. Oh, and also, I wanted to show you guys the 3000 watt generator as it's coming along. I'm just going to give you kind of a quick little peek at it here. Put these back where they belong. So this will go together for me easier. This is what she's turning out like. So there you go. There you have it. Just got to put the battery in it and then wire everything up. Over here we have the 30 amp plug, the three prong twist lock plug. And then moving across the top we have DC in for both solar and wind. And then we have another DC to connect the battery here. It'll probably go in the other order. Probably connect the battery here, then solar here, then wind here. And then you've got three 120 amp plugs across here. You guys have seen these in my other videos as I was using the templates. And then uh, we happen to have four more 120 plugs right over here. We've got the remote control here for the Ames inverter, a couple of 12 volt units. Um, way over in here, we got a cigarette lighter adapter, then we've got the meter and a switch. And then on this side, we've got two USBs here and two USBs here, and then a switch for those as well. So this is a pretty big box, as you can see. But anyways, this is what we're building this battery pack for. So the way we're going to build these battery packs is real simple and easy. We're going to put them like so. We're gonna get them facing one direction. I prefer to do it like this. And then we're gonna slide one over here and just put them together. And they're a bit of a pain. I'm gonna, yeah. And you wanna work from the left to the right. 
That's the easiest way. Just like so. You've got four little divots in here to connect. Sometimes they're not the easiest. And there we go. That's what we've got. Now, there's different ways you can do these. Just, you know, however you want to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting these together in a row of six. Like this. And to end like that. All right, so there's our other one. I believe it's the same length. Yeah, so now we have two. Voila, there we go. One and two. And now we'll load these up. All these beautiful batteries I have over here, and I have boxes upon boxes of these. These are the Headway 18650s. And so we're gonna just make sure that we load these all in the same direction for starters. I'll take one plate like so. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my positives here. Uh, this positive I'll face outward. This positive I'll face to the outside right. This one to the forward. This way I'll always be able to see them and I'll know which bank I'm on. And it's just a matter of just doing this. Now, in the 18650s, everybody's doing the fusing, and with the 38120s, we're not going to be doing that same system. This is going to be running a BMS. I'm not concerned about the fusing, as these are a much safer battery. With these batteries, guys, there is a way to tell the difference between positive and negative. Your negative end is black on one end, and then your positive is silver on the other end. So you can tell them apart, so it's not too uh, big of a deal. These are the tabs we use on these, these little metal tabs here. We will just do what you would do with any other battery pack. All these will be positive, all these will be negative, all these will be positive, all these will be negative, and then of course we'll flip them over, put them together, put our bus bars on and play that game. It's got to have a little bit of weight to it. It's got a lot of weight to it. So that my friends is a battery cell. Let's see what we got here. She measures out to 19 inches long. She is nine and a half inches deep. And what do we got for height? Six inches tall. Incredible amount of power. I don't have the weight here. I don't have the scale in the studio right now. All right, so anyways, this is my custom built Headway 38120S battery pack. Like I said, this is a 4S 18P system. And this thing rocks. I'm gonna put this in my 3000 watt generator, power everything I need to power with this. I yes, yes, I am gonna sell this system. If you wanna buy this system, let me know. Reach out to me. I'll put this on the website as soon as I possibly can. And man, I am, I'm excited to see this thing work because this is the first 3,000 watt I've built. And I think between the whole unit, when this is all said and done, this thing's going to be close to a couple hundred pounds. And this is just a prototype, remember, in this plastic rigid case. After this, this goes to my own boxes, my own cases. And uh, we can even go bigger battery packs. In a portable unit, this is probably as big as I would go. I wouldn't add much more to this battery pack because of the size of the box and the weight. But remember, we can always add more battery packs to the box. And so you can just keep daisy chaining them. And the amount of solar you're going to be able to run into this with an MPPT controller is about 80 watts. So you should have plenty of charge power and you can use some good, good solar panels to really push this thing 
Yeah, you can use some 100 watt panels, but I'm gonna be looking at setting up some 360 watt panels with this bad boy and really make it work. And this is a 12 volt system, and so I will be doing also these, these in uh, 24 volt systems as well, just for amperage purposes. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching as always, man. Be sure to, like I said before, comment, like, and share. I'll be giving away some of those free prizes and some of those earlier videos. All you guys got to do is go in there, make sure you're commenting, and I'll give those away as soon as possible, man. Until next time, I'll see you all around.